Hello friends. This is third part of CSV column mapping tutorial using PHP script with Ajax jQuery, and in this part, we will write jQuery script for validate column selection. If user has defined proper column, then only import button will enable for clicking. So for this, we have go to index.php file, and go to jQuery code part, and here we have write dollar total selection variable is equal to zero. Below this, we have write first name variable is equal to zero. After this, we have write last name variable is equal to zero. And email variable is equal to zero. Next for store select column name. Here we have write column data variable is equal to array. After this, we have write dollar document selector with on method and under this, we have write change event. After this, we have write select box class, set column data. So when we have select option from table header column select box, then this block of code will execute. Under this block, we have write column name variable is equal to dollar this with value method. It will store selected option value under this column name local variable. Next, we have write column number variable is equal to dollar this with data method, and under this, we have write column number. So this code will fetch value from data column number attribute and store under column number variable. Now we want to check. Selected column name is already stored in column data variable. For this, here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write column name variable value in column data variable, if selected option value, is found under this column data array variable. Then it will execute if block of code, and here, we have write alert method, with message like you have already defined, column name variable, it will pop up this message on web page, with selected column name. For clear the value of selected select box, here we have write dollar this with value method and under this we have write blank value. This code will clear value of selected select box. Next we have again write if statement and under condition we have write column name variable value is equal not equal to blank value. If this column name variable has value, then it will execute if block of code, and here we have write column data variable, with column name key is equal to, column number. So, it will store column name in column data key, and column number store in value, so this way, we have store column name and column number variable value in array. But suppose, column name variable has blank value, then it will execute else block of code, and here we want to remove column name key from array. For this, here we have write entries variable is equal to, object dot entries method, and under this, we have write column data variable, this method will return key and value data.
Now we have right for loop, and under condition, we have right constant key, and value variable of entries variable. Under this block, we have right if statement, and under condition, we have right value variable is equal to column number. This condition will check select box column number already found under column data variable, then it will execute if block of code. And under this block, we have write delete, with column data variable with key index, so it will remove that value key from column data array. Next, we want to count total number of column selection, so here we have write total selection variable is equal to object.keys method, and under this, we have write column data variable, dot length, it will return the total number of column selection. Below this, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write total selection variable is equal to 3. If we have select 3 select box, then this condition will be true. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and here we have write dollar, with button ID import with attribute method, and under this, we have write disabled, it will disable import button. But suppose, above condition true, then it will execute if block of code, and here we have write, dollar with button id import, with attribute method, and under this, we have set disabled attribute property false, so import button will be enabled for clicking. After this, we have write, first name variable is equal to, column data variable dot first name key value. Same way below, we have write last name variable is equal to, column data variable dot last name key value and lastly we have write email variable is equal to column data variable dot email key value so this way we have store column data array value store in this variable now we have check output in browser friends First we have refresh web page. After refresh of web page, here we can see file tag and upload button on web page. So here, we have select CSV file from our local computer. After this, we have click on upload button. After click on upload button, here we can see CSV file top 5 table row data on web page in HTML table format, and above each table column, we can see select box. Below this, table we can see disabled import button. Now we have to define, which column data we want to import in MySQL table. So here, in second table column select box, we have select first name, so this table column data will be inserted in first name column of CSV file table. After this, in third column select box, we have again select first name, then on web page, we can see on dialog box appear, 
with message like first name table column already defined. So, once we have defined any column, then again we cannot define. So here we have select last name option. So this column, data will be inserted in last name table column. And at the last table column select box, we have select email. So this column data will be imported in email table column of CSV file table. Here we can see after define third selection, now below, we can see import button has been enabled for clicking. But when we have select one more select box, then import button has again converted into disabled. So here it will be only enable, if we have select three select box, with different value. So, in this part, we had write jQuery script for validate column selection. If user has defined proper column, then only import button has been enabled for clicking. Next, we will discuss how to import this selected table column data into MySQL table by click on this import button. If you have any query or input regarding this part, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also.